he was a canadian musician he was a lead guitarist from the bob dylan in the mid late 1960s and early 1970s his family his first wife dominic his first wife dominic his second wife his second wife name janet He has a son. His son Sebastian. He had two daughters. His daughter Alexandra. His daughter daughter delpin his mother his mother rosemary his father his father alexander his lifestyle he had a estimated net worth of 50 million dollars his childhood young age he was born an only child on july 5 1943 He was born in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. He was taught guitar particularly by his older cousin, Herb Mike. He became a fan of rock and roll and the rhythm and blues through the radio. his house memories the home was first listed july 2020 for just shy of 4.9 million and had mostly recently been asking 3.99 million built in 1960s the two story home offers 3200 square feet of the space and open to an entertainers deck made of limestone and brazilian wood his car collection when he was 14 he worked two brief summer jobs in the traveling carnival circuit He began shadowing Hawkins in childhood with the band His work with the band was instrumental creating the Americana music genre He was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Canadian Music Hall of Fame as a member of the band and into Canada's Walk of Fame with the band and on his own. His year of active 1957 to 2023. his music collection he is ranked 59th 
in Rolling Stone magazine's list of 100 greatest guitarists. He wrote The Wait, The Night They Draw, Old Dixie Down, and Upon Cripple Creek with the band, and also solo hit with the Broken Arrow, and Somewhere Down the Crazy River, and many others. His Transformation He was inducted into the Canadian Songwriter Hall of Fame and received a Lifetime Achievement Award from the National Academy of Songwriters. He collaborated on the film and television soundtracks usually with the director Martin. His collection In Rome, he headlined the 1995 annual Labor Day concert festival with the supporting act In 2005, he was executive producer of the definitive box set for the band, edited a musical history. His old memories In 1989, the band was inducted into the Canadian Juno Hall of Fame. He is ranked 59th in Rolling Stone magazine's list of 100 greatest guitarists. In 1997, he received a Lifetime Achievement Award from the National Academy of Songwriters. He died at the age of 80 after a year-long illness.